Lisa. And of course, if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe now and hit the bell. <laughs>
So, hindi ko pa pinipress itong sa dropper na to, pero tumutulo na siya. Tumutulo na yan, guys, ha? So, ingat kayo. Huwag kayong masyadong... Ingat kayo kasi kaya nagkaroon ng mga oil oil. <laughs> Nakanda tapon tapon sa bote. Shung shung si bakla. So, ayan na nga. Akala ko kasi is yung parang yung mga dropper kasi. So, na nare-retain yung liquid sa loob. Kasi ito hindi. Promise. Ayan siya. It's just gonna like do like that. So, tutul. Ingat na lang din kayo ha while you do this. So, I'm gonna just place 2 to 3 drops on my hand. Then, I'm just gonna do 2 to 3 drops. Hindi ko na pinipindot. 1, 2, 3. So, balik. Bye-bye. <laughs> ano siya Bye. na na ano siya. And then, you just have to like do like that on your hands. And you can start massaging on your scalp area. So, pwedeng ganyan. Imamassage siya lang dun sa area na yan. Again, hindi lang naman 2 to 3 drops yung yung kaya ng buhok ninyo guys sa per area siguro yung 2 to 3 drops kasi hindi kaya eh kasi sa akin yung 2 to 3 drops eh dito lang talaga alright so guys for the next product this is the Lux Organics Castor Oil Eyelash and Brow Growth Serum of course it is hexane and paraben free as well and ang maganda po dito is definitely it's 100% natural this is 10ml for 99 pesos okay so how to use my instruction dito sa likod which is very very good for them So, I'll just read it to you. So, step one, the eyelash growth serum can be used two times daily in the morning and the evening before bedtime. So, ginagawa ko yan for the past three days. Step two, the eyes should be completely clean of any makeup or eye cream. So, yan, malinis na ang mukha ko in preparation for this demo. And step three, apply the serum from the inner corner of the eye outward directly on the base of your eyelashes. So, step four, then from the roots of your eyelashes, Please use the mascara brush repeatedly. You may also apply it to eyebrow area. Alright? So, for optimal result po is just continue use this for the next 3 months. So, this is just how I do it. So, this is... Ganito lang ang itsura niya, guys. So, parang normal mascara lang siya. It has this uh, very, very clear lang siya, ha? Ayan, clear. Wala kayong masyado makikita. It's just oil. Uh, ang ano ko lang dito is that... Ang, ang, ang dito sa mascara na to na brush is that medyo matigas siya in a way. Hindi siya, hindi siya kind of soft. So, all you have to do is just from inner and then how you apply your mascara, ganun lang din po. So, make sure i-avoid lang na pumasok yung oil sa ating inner. So, you just have to be careful. Now, kung yung iba nag-aalangan kung paano gumamit nito or hindi talaga nila mailagay talaga ng tuodo. Kasi yung iba kasi parang natatakot siya. So, sometimes I just place this dito sa top. So, ginaganon ko lang doon sa pinaka-base. So, masasakop rin naman niya yung pinaka-base ng eyelashes ninyo. And then, you could, then you just have to like, uh, do your, uh, how you do the lashes. So, make sure na covered yung area. Same thing down below. So, all you have to do is just place there from inner going outward. And then, you brush your eyelashes. Okay? Next step naman po is dun sa eyebrow natin. So, you just have to like normal, like how you use your brocara. So, all you have to do is just from the base and then you just do it like upward motion. Ako ganito, ganito depende kung saan nyo gusto talagang makoncentrate and this would actually promote hair growth and would give you like a thicker uh, dun sa shaft ng inyong uh, hair strands. So, as you can see, is medyo makapal naman yung kilay ko pero dito kasi ayan no, medyo kalbo siya. Medyo gusto ko talaga ng ano, mala brilliantes na hair. Na eyebrow, ganyan. And then I will just stand it a bit. Ang castor oil, ang aking eyelashes and eyebrows. And so, tatapusin ko lang yung aking buong hair. And so far guys, is that ang appearance ng eyebrows ko is parang naging thicker yung hair niya. Yung strand mismo. So, it would appear na parang kumapal yung hair mo. In terms naman kung may mga tumutubo na bago, So, may normal na may mga tumutubo dyan. Pero, tingnan natin. Kasi, ayan, may mga kalbo parts ako. So, tingnan natin kung merong mga hair growth na, na tumubo dyan sa mga tabi-tabi na yan. At, ma-achieve ko sana ang ang brilliantes eyebrow. <laughs> so, sana ma-achieve ko, guys, is kumapal yung aking eyebrows. At, mas maganda i-shape kapag ka, kasi marami kang Uh, eyebrows. And in fairness, ha, gusto ko rin sana na medyo kumaba at kumapal yung eyelashes ko. Tulad ni Sushi Nisa. Talagang kay Sushi Nisa kasi talaga ang ganda ng kanyang mata. Pilik mata. Sa akin kasi ang igse. So, gusto ko sana is kumapal at kumaba siya. Okay? So, keep on watching guys. So, samahan niyo ako sa aking journey with Lux Organics.
Castor Oil. Hi guys! Um, so I'm back again. So I have been using the Lux Organics Castor Oil for my hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, and of course on my stretch marks. So just to give you an update, I have been using these products for the past 30 days. So it's been a month already. And so kasi hindi mo naman makikita yung significant talaga na na growth or may pagbabago ba in just like a week or two weeks. So I have been using these products. So as you can see, yan, ipapakita ko tong bote na to. Ayan siya. Medyo messy guys kasi minsan kasi, ayan, almost like half na lang ang nagagamit ko. Pasensya na napaka messy. Minsan kasi is kung saan saan ko na shoot and all. And so, ayan, ito pa. Nandito sa box. Ayan. Ito naman yung sa eyelashes ko. Minsan kasi tinata... And to be very honest with you guys is that minsan tinatamad ako. Like for example, for the eyelashes, yung sa mascara. So kapag ka may sobra ako, doon sa aking dropper is that tinalagay ko na lang siyang ganyan, ganun. Tapos like doing like that and so forth. And then the rest will be going here. So, ganun siya. So, <laughs> pasensya na. So, wala naman ako nakita ang difference kasi doon sa ingredients is just the same. Yung pagkakaiba lang kasi is yung isa is yung meron siyang brush for your eyebrows and eyelashes and of course yung isa is just for the dropper all right so guys is ngayon is bibigyan ko kayo ng update regarding kung ano nangyari sa akin using the 100% pure castor oil cold press from Lux Organics so first and foremost guys is dito tayo pumunta sa aking hair sa aking hair yung pinakita ko on the first day that I have used is talagang diba ma mapapansin nyo dito sa gilid ko is talagang puting puti siya and everything parang nawawala na siya ng hair pero kung mapapansin nyo ngayon ayan humahaba na siya and I will give you a closer look. Ayan siya, guys. So, marami na siya mga baby hairs. In fairness, ayan, nanganak na siya. Marami na siya mga baby hairs dito sa gilid at dito rin sa kabila. Meron na siyang maliliit na mga baby hairs at kumakapal yung hair ko. In fairness. So, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa video na una kong hiramid, di ba porong nawawala na? just ko, Lord. Pero ngayon, ayan siya. Although, guys, is, ah, uh, Hindi pa naman makikita yan kasi syempre na mahabang mahaba kasi one month ko pa lang talaga nagagamit itong product na to. And of course, ang recommendation nila is para pagka magkaroon ka ng significant talaga na changes or hair growth is at mga at least 3 months mong gagamitin itong, um, at least mga 3 months mong gagamitin itong castor oil. Now, what I am doing, just so an FYI, is that for the castor oil dun sa hair ko, I am using it like dito sa gilid kasi nga ano, like, um, I'm using it like, twice a day sa morning and of course before I go to sleep nilalagyan ko dito sa gilid and then kung dun sa buong buhok ko usually I do it like 2 to 3 times in a week kung may kapag kasi uh, may pupuntahan ako hindi ko ginagamit kasi syempre medyo mabigat yung hair ko although hindi siya kasing bigat ng mga ibang oils ito kasi guys parang naaabsorb lang din siya agad and all pero although may mga mararamdaman mo may oil pero hindi naman gano'n na talagang parang nagmamantika yung hair mo although walang scientifically proven na ang castor oil is nakakapagpatubo ng buhok or whatsoever. Walang, kaya lang marami nagkiklaim nga na it provides and if also stimulate yung hair growth niyo and also kaya nagkakaroon na feeling nyo na talagang marami kayong buhok kasi nagpapakapal siya ng shaft ng hair. Kumakapal yung shaft ng hair ninyo. So, kung meron kayong problema sa thinning of hair and kung sa akin may minimize din yung hair fall ko in fairness when I started using this. So, 2 to 3 times a week and of course, talaga nakita nyo oh. Ayan, dati na pagka gumaganyan-ganyan ako, makikita nyo parang may white ako dito na wala ng buhok halos. Pero ngayon guys, ayan, tatanggalin ko yung sipit ko. Ayan siya. So, may mga baby hairs na akong ganyan. Marami na akong mga anak na hairs dyan. Let's now move on sa aking eyebrows. So, kung mapapansin nyo guys, dito sa eyebrows ko is that, ayan siya. Tingnan natin. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo guys, is yan, talagang kumapal talaga na ang aking eyebrows. Kumapal na siya in fairness na dating ito, talagang parang may kalbo portion dito. Ayan na siya. So, if I'm gonna like sweep it like that. Ayan, maraming siyang bagong tubong hair. At ang ginagawa ko na lang guys ngayon is nagbo-brow kara na lang talaga ako. I'm not using anymore yung pencil. Nagbo-brow kara na lang ako, it's enough. And kung mapapansin nyo, may mga maliliit na tubo rito. Pati dito sa mga gilid-gilid, humahaba na siya. And also here talagang humaba yung eyebrows ko and kumapal siya. Feeling ko makapal yung aking, yung shaft siguro ng hair ng aking eyebrows is uh, nagtikin. So it's giving me like this kind of bushy eyebrows na of course maganda yun kasi talagang pagka medyo maganda yung eyebrows natin nakakapal nakakabata kasi yan eh. So you would look much more younger, more healthier, 
Tapos, talaga makikita mo very expressive yung iyong eyebrows because of, you know, kila is life. Now, this is only just for one month. So, I'm just gonna be continuing this and use this na para ma-achieve natin. Of course, this may not case-to-case -case basis po ito. Depende po kung gano'ng karami talaga ang inyong eyebrows. Baka yung iba talaga, sobrang nipis, wala talaga yun all. So, wala talagang pores na lalabasan ng, ng buhok. Yung sa akin kasi talagang parang nakalbo or something. So, ayan na. Marami na siyang bagong tubo ngayon. In fairness. So, talagang happy ako sa result. Um, rarely na lang ako naglalagay, ako naglalagay ng uh, eyebrow pencil. At yung mga pomade-pomade na yan, hindi. Nagbrokara na lang talaga ako. And then, I just actually like, uh, really brush my hair like that. As you can see, full na ang aking eyebrows. Ayan siya guys. So, I'm very very happy with the result. Now, let's move on to my eyelashes. Dati noon sa eyelashes ko, talagang kakapuranggot lang na may ganyan. So, as you can see on this picture here, ang liit lang talaga ng eyelashes ko. Ngayon guys, is that medyo humaba na siya. At kapag ka nag nagko-curl na ako, meron nang sumasama doon sa eyelash curler. Dati kasi kahit anong gawin ko, dulo lang talaga. So, ngayon is meron na siya. So, as you can see, I'm gonna zoom in. So, ayan na siya guys. Ayan, humahaba na. Pumibilantik na siya. Dati wala talagang pilantik yan. Hindi, walang, hindi niya kinaya pumilantik kasi nakaganon lang talaga yung eyelashes ko nakaturo sa baba na ang igse. But now, as you can see, if I'm gonna look at the side, so, ayan na siya. Nararamdaman ko na at parang medyo makapal yung aking eyelashes. So, parang makapal yung yung buho. Pero, of course, hindi pa naman ganon talaga magaganyan. 30 days ko palang ginagamit. Pero, so far, I'm very, very happy with the result. I will still continue using the castor oil. Now, in terms naman sa, let's go naman doon sa aking stretch mark. Siguro, I will share the result na lang na uh, mga 2 or 3 more months pa. Because, right now, is that hindi ko nakikita yung significant changes except for Kasi yung roughness ng stretch marks is that mararamdaman po talaga. Pero after 30 days of using it, is parang malambot yung sa tummy area ko. Hindi na siya yung parang parang feeling mo, ay, nasasalat ko na. Yung parang pang nagmama dyan, boom, ganyan, ay, nine sticks. Ganon, ay, seven sticks. Alam na, alam mo, ganyan parang nagmama dyan ka, di ba? Pag sinasalat mo, hmm, nine sticks, ay, one bone. Hola po, chao, paningit. Back to back. Ganyan. Hindi na. Parang medyo malambot na siya ngayon. The touch. And of course, hindi talaga natatanggal ang stretch marks, guys. Pero at least, malalighten niya yung mga dark areas na yun. And medyo nagiging smoothen yung uh, stretch marks ko. And I will share that in the future videos kasi hindi pa ako handa ngayon. Pero, in fairness, ano, masaya rin naman ako dun sa ginagawa ng castor oil para sa aking stretch marks, sa aking hair, eyebrows, and eyelashes. Okay? So, I will give you more feedback or update in the future. So, for the meantime, is that sa akin, approve na approve itong castor oil by Lux Organic. Ah, uh, na surprise ako na talagang it really worked for me. Like, especially here, talagang kitang-kita ko talaga tumubo yung mga buho ko, kumakapal na siya. And of course, dito sa eyebrows ko na talagang sinusuklay ko na lang yan ng aking spoolie. And of course, yung eyelashes ko, ayan, meron ng may pumipilantik na bahagyang-bahagya. And of course, dun sa stretch marks ko is a little bit naglalighten and malambot na siyang hawakan. Hindi na siya na parang, hindi na siya ganun na parang rough or something. Okay? Alright, so guys, that's about it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. And of course, if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe now and hit that bell. And of course, maraming maraming salamat po for watching my video. And of course, if you have other comments, suggestions, or whatsoever, just feel free to put this uh, all on the comments box below. Ngayon, kung gagamit po kayo ng castor oil, and just let me know kung anong experience in yung so we could share, okay? So maraming maraming salamat po for watching and hope to see you soon.